Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now, in the previous video, we saw about adding debugging points to a test case, and in the and in the in the this series only we saw about creating a test case. Now, how do we actually export a test case? What do we mean by export basically? See, we need to export a test case when we want that the test case should be run, should be able to run on a different web driver or on a Selenium remote control. So for that, we actually export the test case to the uh, language or the framework that we use or we want or that flavor of Selenium and can use it on our need or as per our requirement. So now let us see what are the steps to reproduce whenever we are exporting a test case. So the first is open any test uh, save test case in a Selenium ID. Now after this navigate to file, the very first would be how do you want to export the test suit? We say like uh, by clicking this button, we would be given an array of options. Say I choose that I want to export this test case as a say Selenium web driver J unit uh, option. After this, this would be you know coming up as a name the name option would be coming i would be giving the name as web driver and after this the next one would be the location where i have saved i would be getting a test as webdriver.java since we saved it in the java or the JUnit framework now whenever i open this file i would be able to see the basic layout of how this is working and would you know help us to get to know or can use it in a web driver or in Selenium remote control based on our requirements now let's quickly go to our screens and see working of Selenium ID test case export. Right. So as we all know that ID is a extension available only for Mozilla Firefox. So we quickly navigate down to our Mozilla Firefox. And in the Mozilla Firefox, what I'll do is let me open up Google.com. So here I open up my Selenium ID, right? So and you know I'm just checking that you know if uh, the the ID is recording or not uh, let me keep this both the ID and the Firefox into the same pane at once so it's it says that it is recording so I you know, don't change much I navigate down to the to my website that is rollspoint.com on to our website uh, I'll okay I'll here learn WordPress so this is my WordPress and into WordPress I say I navigate down to contact into contact I want to read the terms and terms of use for our website right so in terms of use I read the terms of use you know they are quite descriptive in nature so like this was the test case that I've created now. If we see in ID, you know, we are aware about the basic functionality that the working of ID. Now the very first is, you know, the step is command is open. Then we are clicking and waiting for the WordPress link to open up and in similar way all of these. Now if I actually save this test case, you know, how this would be saved okay let me just say with on a desktop you know we have already done it but yes like I am saving it as demo this demo should be saved as an HTML file right now let me show you so now if I open this test case so it is opened up so I am saving this as a demo one dot html I click on save so this is my demo one this is my you know the name of the test case the steps that I was supposed to repeat if you look at these steps and you know these steps they look quite similar right they are having the same way you know in which they are written this is the third row that we are supposed to write the value one which is blank for us if you look at it over here you know you, you you know in going into the source you can see how these test cases are saved right but now as a you know as a developer or you know when we are working in the real time environments we can't use the only id for our applications right so at that instance is you know we need to convert these test cases to say uh, 
a language you know which we can use to automate or you know which we can eventually use to develop our cases further so in those cases you know we export our test case so now we can export a test case into C sharp into you know Java into Python into Ruby now the the reason for you know exporting them is very simple that uh, like if I export this test case let me show it to you once I name it as demo and it should be dot Java obviously right and I save it so here's my Java file that has you know come up and I'll open up this file with say pages now if you look at look in the file very properly you would find the exact way in which you know it wants to write the code it is you know importing all the packages that are needed and you know like this is having the entire setup done in which you know we are making the object of the driver these things you know might uh, seem a bit you know uh, off the track for you right now because you know, you're not aware about these things but you know as and when we go into web driver and study about it this would be a bit more clear to you so you know like now as a developer I can simply go and edit this one like say you know I'm getting the base URL right so here maybe you know I can edit the base URL or else I can edit the steps over here and you know this would ease my purpose as a developer to you know to understand how this can be done so you know exporting you can export the test cases into into the language you are comfortable in like I was comfortable in Java so I exported it in Java you can either you know try uh, C sharp or you can try Ruby or Python and you can even export the test case as uh, test ng suit or test ng test case so everything remains same it's only the you know the plat you know the way or the platform on which you want your test case to be dependent on is it what matters now let me open this test case for you again so now this is the test case one you know it has got the annotations that are you know similar to the test ng one and you know rest the entire process the entire uh, you know schema the entire base of the uh, you know the test case remains same you know we are like here also we are creating the web driver object we are getting the base url you know we are implicitly waiting for the uh, you know driver you know till it uh, if it if it in case you know it's time out we are waiting for 30 seconds of time unit and then we are you know performing our operation and once this test is done you know we are saying okay you know like once it is done you can quit it so this is how you know we are uh, working in exporting the test case so guys, this was all that you are supposed to cover in exporting the test case. Uh, I would say thank you all for joining in. You can use this test case uh, when you are aware about WebDriver and can export the ID test case and then you know you can even edit it further. So thank you guys for tuning in.